and that's chemistry. General Hospital's Luke and Laura, Days of Our Lives, Bo and Hope, and Guiding Lights, Josh and Reva, are just a few examples of great on-screen on chemistry. So what is chemistry, and how is it created? Here to help us figure this out is the casting director from General Hospital and Port Charles, Mark Teschner, from, so from Soaps in Depth magazine, Kelly Larson, and one of the writers of Guiding Light, Lisa Seidman. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. All right. Mark, you're an old friend. I'm an old friend. What is chemistry? Chemistry is that indefinable element that takes a couple from being a good couple to watch to an exciting, extraordinary couple. Now, it's the mystery. As a casting director, do you look for chemistry? How do you find it? Do you put two people together? What happens? Well, the writers come up with the idea of who's going to be put together. My job is to find exciting, interesting actors, and we hope that they're exciting, dynamic, interesting enough to have chemistry with whoever they're with. But as you know from the process, the talent test really shows up the chemistry and you, you hope you find lightning in a bottle. And you know the truth is being part of you know a, a couple that that works you don't necessarily have to like the person you you know it could be anything I mean it's just two people that come together and sparks happen. Why is Lisa you write for the soap? Right well it is lightning in the bottle. I, I, to a certain extent as a writer we do try to get couples together on Guiding Light, we have a young couple, Tony and Mara. Mara has been played by... Oh, they love yes. them. They love yes. them. He's sexy, isn't he? He's, he's terrific. And we recast Mara, and I worried about the chemistry. But I find that the actor who plays Tony is so cute and sexy and gorgeous. And <laughs> so you can't help but have chemistry. You can't. Exactly. Exactly. It's true. That helps. That does help to have good-looking people. And let's face it, the soaps... People are gorgeous. But you know, I, it's not just about being good looking because you can have two great looking people that have absolutely no chemistry. I think the chemistry comes from what's going on inside. You could have two people that may not be classically beautiful, but I'm they're sure. exciting and sexy based on how they feel about themselves and the energy that they communicate with each other. And one of the great things about chemistry is that sometimes, and, and I'm sure you've experienced mm -hmm. this, you may write for people and there's not quite the magic there, and then accidentally, one of the actors is paired with another and there's something that you didn't anticipate. That's the wonderful thing about daytime mm -hmm. is chemistry comes sometimes when you least expect it. Yeah. It's so true. That happened on Port Charles too. They had uh, Allison Rafe on Port Charles. They were supposed to be just people who met, you know. She was totally in love with Jamal. And what they saw wasn't planned. There was a magic between them, the way they looked at each other, the way they reacted. There was kind of a joy to their scenes. I, I coached and they them. Went. <laughs> And they went that direction. They changed the whole storyline. Okay. What happens if one half of a super couple leaves the show? Well, in my instance, I, you know, we played, I had Billy and Bo, and there was huge chemistry, and then I left. Thank you. I feel funny, like, honking my own horn, but that's okay. <laughs> and once I left, he, it's interesting because Peter Reckel and Christian Alfonso had huge chemistry of their own. So... It also showed that you can have chemistry with two people, three people, whatever, yes. but when somebody leaves, what happens? Well, I know in Guiding Light's case, Kim Zimmer has left a couple of times. We didn't replace her. You're not going to mess with the chemistry of Reva and oh, Josh. that's interesting. Yeah, she, there was just, she's, all, Kim is always going to be Reva, and they're, she and Josh are getting married for the third time. Right, we had them week. on, we yes. had them on. Yes. <laughs> yes, they're wonderful. They are wonderful. Yes. They're like an old married couple. I know, I know, but yet it's still there. I mean, when I watch them on the show, I'm still interested in seeing them together. Absolutely. They, and I can't define that, but I think, the, I think the show was smart for not replacing either one of them and, and just letting, letting everyone understand that this is who Josh is and this is who Reva is. Recasting is really, I think, the toughest thing because I think so you're, you're trying to find an actor that can take a role that's already been established and yet put their own stamp on it and then you have the whole chemistry thing which is you need somebody that's also going to have chemistry with that actor and another example is Carly uh, who that, was just uh, recently recast. She came in and I had felt from day one that she was the person 
that we should go with, but it took the talent test where she and Maurice Bernard had this incredible chemistry. He knew what he felt it, and that's been able to translate, because if you don't have that, then you don't have a super couple. You have, Absolutely. I don't know what the word is for non-super couple. Mark, is there, a chemistry, is there a chemistry that develops over time, maybe one that you was sort of so-so in the screening, but it, it developed as they got to know each other and get comfortable? That may be, but what you're really looking for in that talent test is that instant chemistry, because there's the feeling that if you don't see it immediately on screen, you don't feel like you have the luxury of developing it for six months because our audience wants to see it when they want to see it. That's true. Well, thank you all so much. This was so great. Thank you. Mark Teshner, Kelly Larson, and Lisa Seidman. Thanks, Seidman.